Jignesh Shah promoted financial technologies, which finds itself in the middle of many legal battles, says that the EOW order freezing its assets and cash balance will not hamper its day-to-day -day operations and acknowledges that the NSCL scam has had an impact on the balance sheet. Managing Director and CEO Prashant Desai is in an interaction with ET Now, defending the company's decision to support NSCL. So to be very honest, uh, currently there has been no impact. Uh, we don't see any significant impact. And the reason why we see no significant impact is we believe uh, that the letter uh, that was issued to us uh, will be challenged in the courts of law. Uh, we believe that uh, eventually the courts of law will rule in our favor. As we speak today, we are making an application in the court of law to enable us to do day-to-day -day operations. And the reason why we feel so is as follows. Uh, a similar letter was issued by UOW to us somewhere around uh, February of 2015. And in that letter where they told us not to dispose of any asset, uh, the same letter was challenged by us in the Bombay High Court. And the Bombay High Court had actually stayed that letter. Uh, not just they had stayed it, the stay still continues. So now suddenly they've issued us another letter which is almost on the same lines that they've done. We believe, uh, you know, the Honorable Court of this country will see through this uh, and they will ensure that the day-to-day -day operations of the company are not uh, hampered or threatened in any which way. We are very, very hopeful. We have uh, fullest of... Uh, faith in Indian judiciary. So to answer your question, we don't see any significant impact currently happening as a result of this uh, because we believe we will get the, the legal relief that is required as well. So you said two things as you're rightly saying. One, importantly you're saying on day-to-day -day operations you don't envisage any challenges. The show would go on as usual. And secondly, from the legal perspective, although you are been asked to file a fresh application by the Bombay High Court, your original application has been rejected and no interim relief has been given. But is it right to say that FT always knew that the day-to-day -day operations will not be affected? Because the fact remains that, as you are also saying, in the last three years, the only objective of investigating agencies was to ensure all the assets are ring-fenced so that no third-party rights is created or no liquidity is created from that. So in that sense, why this panicky and yesterday we saw some of your employees going to the economic offense wing uh, police headquarters why this panicky because somewhere you also know that the fact is that the day-to-day -day operations in more than one thing is not going to get hampered so panic is not the word that i would use probably that's the word you choose uh, uh, our perspective was that we will have to make our voices now be heard so far what has ft done we've uh, i think the only uh, thing that FT has done is over the last three years is we've significantly cooperated with every single investigative agencies. We've ensured that whenever we are called, any detail that they require is being uh, given to them. That's an ET Now exclusive there, talking financial technologies, the MD and CEO talking about how the day-to-day -day operations will not be impacted by the EOW order. As of now, the legal expenses stand at just about 2% of the balance sheet and uh, they expect to grow by 12 to 15% in FY17. The stock clearly paying heed to those numbers as we speak. It's currently shot up to the day's high at about 84.9. And uh, remember, it has been fairly buoyant, in fact, in today's session around the 85 level.